not, I'm not pretty sure if I can really see everybody, but well, the, the hair goes. My name is Antonia. Three years ago, I managed to find myself into fashion. But it happened out of chance, and it was quite a sad story, because after three years, that was when I began to finally feel peace in my heart, and I began to be content with myself, and I realized that living is not really all about work and money and what is there to gain. There are many children out there who are disconnected from their parents. Not because of anything, but because they, they lack that attention that they need to be guided in order to grow. I'm going to ask a few questions and I'll ask you to ponder over them. Who are you? Who told you who you were? Where are you coming from? And where are you going to? Shakespeare really has it that all the world's a stage. We are all, in quotes, a bunch of actors. We all come in at a certain point in time and exit. But however, it is the true experience that we need in order to make our world a better place. In order to get good leaders, it starts from the home, practically. And I'm very thankful to my father and my mother for all the things they've done for me. Because other than that, today I wouldn't be here to share my story. So we'll begin with the first pillar. We are going to build a house. And I'll show you how building a house will end up building a nation. We start with the foundation. Identity building. Who are you? Who is telling our children who they are? Who is telling them what they can be? Who is there helping them to find their path? Identity building is critical to success. If you don't know who you are, you cannot know where you are going. And you cannot know how to be able to navigate. The first pillar on the foundation of identity is character. If you know who you are, you'll be able to build a good character. Because ability will send you to the top. But guess what? It is character that will, that will put you there for life. So we need to build our characters after we understand who we are. Right after we build our characters, we have to understand that if you look at these five fingers, they are not equal. We are all very much different. It means we, we must learn how to manage our relationships. I came out of a family of five, five kids, and I'm number four. And believe me, it's not been really easy because I'm not the outspoken kid. I'm that kid who is very timid. That's why I keep saying I'm grateful for my parents because if they weren't there, I'm sure I would have been subdued. Not to say my siblings are bad people, but hey, things happen. Some of you here will share in what I'm saying. Understanding gender identity and roles, very much important. This world evolved on two people, male and female. Who is telling the boys who they are? And who is teaching the girls what they should be doing? There are young men nowadays who don't even know how to behave like young men. But yet, they believe they are young men. There are young ladies today who think they have it all. But trust me, what our mothers go through, if they should face half of it, they wouldn't be able to stand. Please, parental guidance is important. In the good book, it says that let the women sit under the feet of the old older women so that they are guided. It is not just for the women, it's also for the men. What a father is, a son will become and even much more. And what a mother is, a daughter will follow. Bullying and brainwash. Bullying doesn't just come from external, 
from the external forces. Let's go into the home. There are some of you who pick on your siblings. Some of you who literally beat your siblings. If you are like that, please, today, for my sake, stop. Because what you are doing is that you are crushing the spirit of somebody. And you don't know how it feels like if your spirit is crushed. I've been there for eight good years, and it's not been funny. It's really not been funny. Parents must constantly monitor what is going on between the kids. Because if they are able to bully their own right from the house, when they become politicians, guess what? They will be bullying all of us. And if you become a global leader, well, Idi and me both. That is how it happens. I'm sure probably he didn't have a good upbringing. The brainwash happens when the boy thinks, oh, men are dominant to women. Then what happens is that the innocence of that young lady growing up, just like how um, Regina was saying that uh, young women cannot what, uh, become rocket scientists or something like that, it's total brainwash. And it happens from the home. Whoever her teacher was, what he experienced in his house growing up is what he has literally translated probably 30 years after he'd grown up to an innocent young girl. And if she wasn't courageous enough, guess what? She wouldn't have been building apps for even the disabled. Conflict management. It starts from the home. How to understand people. I talked about character building. So once we understand that there are different characters and we have good parents who try to manage and monitor us, we inherit that ability. That is where we get understanding. That is where we get the fruit of patience. That, we, that is where we get love. Because without that, you cannot manage conflict. The whole thing is, excuse me to say, but one person just has to be stupid for peace to reign. But in the art of stupidity, it's not really stupidity, but it's just humility. And it all starts from the home. What kind of homes are you building? And you really have people in your homes, or you have things standing there pretending to be people. That's it. We finally built our house. To roof the house is what? Leadership and responsibility. If you've given your kids good foundation, good identity, good character formation, good relationship management, understanding gender identity and roles, bullying, dealing with bullying and brainwash, and then conflict management, then they are prepared to be leaders. And they are not just leaders, they are responsible leaders. They are leaders who can increase your GDP regardless because they are not looking out for the big things or for the basic things that can make a difference. Thank you very much, and I hope in your home to pay attention.